And hello again everyone and welcome back to The Longest Journey. Now if you remember last time, April had defeated the evil alchemist Roper Clax and then completed the remaining tasks she had to do in the city of Mercuria and Captain Nebeve has now agreed to let her aboard the ship the White Dragon and they are sailing off for the island of Elias. So we're going to catch up with April on board the White Dragon where well, April is not having a good trip. So, let's continue with The Longest Journey. Like I said... Oh, God, my guts have been cleaned out and I still feel sick. Not having a good day so far, are we, April? Oh well. Well, this is the White Dragon, somewhere out at sea on Arcadia. Um, it's not been a good trip for April so far, apparently. That's the cargo hold, and crew quarters down. My bed's conveniently located right below the opening to accommodate for those refreshing saltwater showers. I thought it was so you could get more air, April. Oh look, there's a barrel of apples over here. It's the apple barrel. It's half empty. And aside from whatever fish we're able to catch, those apples are the only food we got on board. The only food you have is apples? Okay. Ugh, gross! People do not toss the apples back into the barrel after eating! Here's a nice plump Alright. Well, we need to go up here and talk to the captain, so let's head up to the bridge. Where we have this mysterious little glowing object going on. It's a glass orb with a strange magical glow. It could be some kind of compass, I guess. And a lot of this is going to be another Talk to Everyone in Sight episode, but it's kind of short, so I probably won't skip too many of these. Captain? Hi. What is it? How long will it take us to get to Elias? We should reach the island by tomorrow night, unless we get bad weather. Any chance of bad weather? Well, as any experienced sailor will tell you, the weather is a freakish thing, and you never know quite what to expect. But no, no chance of a storm at all, or my nose would be itching. What does your nose have to do with the weather? Well, that's a story, be sure of that. And? That's all. It's just a story, and you'd better be sure of that. Yeah. And, oh look, sea shanties! They've been playing Assassin's Creed. Do you know any sea shanties? Y'all be thanked, I do not know a single one. Not even a ho-ho-ho on a dead man's casket or something like that? If I went ho-ho-ho on a dead man's casket, girl, the crew would tie me up in the hold. With good reason, too. Uh, yeah. Um... I guess that's all we really need to talk to Beverly about. Thanks, Captain. It's actually Captain. Please try to remember, and while you're at it, cut back on the scurvy sea dog shtick, would you? Just trying to fit in, sir. You have as much chance of fitting in here as I do growing a second head, marrying myself, and moving to Coruscant to start a pottery business. Oh, and before you leave, mind you only take two apples a day from the apple barrel. We're running a little short, and aside from fish, Jal forbid, we have no other food on board. Okay, you really set out on a trip with nothing but an apple barrel for food? Does that even make sense? Okay. And I think 
two-head pottery shopper from Coruscant is probably a good band name or something. Wait, let's go talk to Tun Lyak for a while. Hello, Tun. Are you enjoying the ride, April? I'd enjoy it a lot more if the ground wasn't moving. But the ground is not moving. The boat is. Hey, you try and tell my stomach that. I think Tun Lyak's a little literal, April, so... How are we doing on time? With the help of your magic, we are crossing faster than I had ever thought possible. Give credit where credit is due, Lyak. This ship is the fastest there is. I can outrun a shadow ship in this old lady. That's a shadow ship. Okay. When will we be on Elias? By sunset tomorrow, if the wind holds. Of course the wind's going to hold. We have a bottle of it, remember? How fast is it possible to travel by sea? I do not know. I have heard tell of a ship that once went so fast it took to the sky and disappeared. From time to time, sailors spot the ship as it floats across the heavens. It is said to be an omen. The Flying Dutchman, right? No, they call it bad luck. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much the Flying Dutchman. I have a question about your compass. Of course. What kind of compass are you using? It is just a normal spirit compass. When we are not navigating by the stars or by the sun, we use this. What's a spirit compass? I forget that you are not familiar with the sea. A spirit compass points always to the magical North Pole, and thus we may navigate according to it. It is very precise, unless affected by a strong magical source. Thanks. That's all I needed to know. I hope this knowledge made you richer. Keep her steady, Tun. I will, April. All right. Um, they have a magical compass. Does that mean they don't have normal magnetic compasses in Arcadia? Or is a magnetic compass considered a science thing and not a magic thing, and therefore you can't have them here? Who knows? Well, the main things we got out about this, besides being able to look at the ocean... Why does the horizon have to keep rolling back and forth like that? You're on a boat, April. That's the way they work. Um, is that the only food they have are apples, and we have a magical compass that is affected by strongly magnetic things. So... Watch! My nose is itching! Are you sleeping on duty again? Storm front! Whist! Heading our way! Looks like a right old bugger too, Har Notice it conveniently does not show Aye, us the storm. by the mercy of Jal, it's a chaos storm! Where in damnation did it come from this quickly? And what's pulling it here? Navigator! Change our course! We must away from the storm front and to safe harbor! Uh-oh. I just felt a cold shiver running down my spine. Well, I guess we need to go see what's going on. And to give them credit, Nevefe does change the direction he's looking in when they do this. Captain? Sir? Leave me be, girl. I have work to do. We must avoid the storm lest it comes on us like Jaws callous heel and crushes us. But we're still going to lay us, right? Ha! Huh. You can forget about that. We must avoid the dangerous waters of the islands and head straight for Guyen if we're to stand a chance of outrunning the storm. But I have to get to Elias as soon as possible. The fate of worlds depends on it. And the fate of my ship and my crew depends on us changing our course for Guyen. Now leave me be. Is it really that urgent, April? Okay. Um, we can talk to Tun here again, but we don't really need to do that right now. So, uh, what's going on, Tun? A storm approaches April, and it is no ordinary storm. What do you mean by no ordinary storm? Look to the clouds. Do they appear normal to you? They look strange, it's true. It is a chaos storm, a strong storm caught in a magical vortex. 
drawn to strong magic like bees to honey. I have never seen one with my own eyes, but I have heard stories. What have you heard about chaos storms? That they appear only rarely, and that they signify great and terrible events in the near future. It is also said that they are weapons used by the Dark Lords of Chaos to hunt and destroy those strong in the balance. Well, it's a good thing we don't know anyone who's strong in the balance. Oh, wait. Yeah. Right. Can we escape a Chaos Storm? If we run fast enough and reach Safe Harbor, perhaps. I have not heard of a Chaos Storm to last more than a single night. And this one is still quite a distance away. But it gains fast. I do not know, April. Okay, I'm also going to be that guy and point out that they changed course, but the sun is still sitting right over here. Yeah. I'll let you go back to work. Thank you. Alright. We need to get some people off the bridge now. So what we're going to do is we're going to go downstairs for a while. We're now in the cargo hold. Now the things we have to note around here is we have this empty chest here. It's a sturdy wooden chest. It's empty. And we also have this sack of flour over here. Which, if you notice, has this, flour sack. this little worm that keeps crawling out of this hole and into this hole. It's a flour sack. Yes, I know we just did that, but there it goes. See the worm? But the worm's too fast. We can't grab it. So what we're going to do... Well, first of all, I'm going to pick up this axe while I'm here. Okay. We need to grab that worm for reasons that will become obvious in a few minutes. And the way we're going to do that is we're going to take this candy and we're going to stick it in our mouth. God, it's awful! It tastes like mouthwash! Well, maybe that's because you were carrying it from Arcadia, or from Stark to Arcadia, April. I don't know. Now, notice that we have our candy right here. But down here we have some sticky candy and the wrapper it was in. So we're going to take that and use it on the... Dang, set. clever worm! from the sack here. So now there's a piece of sticky candy right here. Now in a few seconds we'll have the worm show up again, but the worm gets caught on the candy. So now we can take the worm. Yes! Got me a worm. Uh, and this is good because... Because you're an adventure game protagonist, April, so you have to do really strange things from time to time. Be glad you're not using it to make a mustache. Trust me. Alright, what we're going to do now is we're going to take the worm we just found, and we're going to combine the worm, get the worm to eat the apple. Get to it, little guy. Eat your heart out. Alright, we now have a wormy apple. Let's go back upstairs. Alright, since we know the captain doesn't like the idea of running out of apples, because then, by jaw, we'll have to be eating fish. Uh, let's see what he thinks when we show him that we have a worm with an apple in it. Captain? What is it now? Captain, the worms have invaded the apple barrel. Cursed be the balance. First the storm, now this. Is there no end to the horrors? Let me see. Jowls infected, arsehole, you be right. Those are worms, all right. Vicious, snarling wheat worms driven mad by their hunger for a change of diet. As far as I could tell, that was the only apple infected. But I could be wrong. Good of you to catch it, girl, before it's spread any further. I'll have to go pluck the apples immediately. They must be saved. Okay, Vicious Snarling Wheat Worms is going to be the name of my next band. Um, just because 
why not? And he is not in a hurry to get down there, is he? Okay. Take your time, Captain. We got plenty of time here. There we go. Now we've gotten the captain off the bridge. Let's see if we can get rid of Tun Lian. Do you want me to relieve you at the wheel for a while? I am not sure if this is such a good idea, April. What's the big deal? I just hold it straight, right? Well, I could do with a short break to stretch my legs. Fine, but I will be back soon. And if anything happens, just call out for help. Of course, thanks. And with that, we've got the bridge to ourselves. Um, does anybody else besides me think this is a bad idea? <sighs> April, I'm not sure what you think you're doing, but this is probably not a good idea. Okay, we're going to take the talisman to the balance here. Because remember, the compass is affected by strong magic. So if the compass was pointing in that direction when we were on course for Elias, and now it's pointing in this direction... Oh, hell. I'll just wing it. Use the force, April. After all, who's the chosen one here? Yeah, apparently they watch Star Wars in the 23rd century still, too. Ton, need some assistance up here. See, so many besides me think this is a really bad idea. Yeah, me too. Okay. I think I may have strayed off course a bit when I was at the wheel. I did not feel the boat turning. Well, I have a feeling we're gonna miss Gien by a couple of hundred kilometers if you don't correct our course. Let me check the compass. By the balance, you are right, April. It is good you were aware of your mistake, or we might have ended up pierced on the deadly reefs of Tagate. I will correct our course immediately. Sorry about that. Oh no. I let you take the wheel. I'm just glad we are back on course. Y yeah, back on course. <clears throat> is it my imagination or is the storm getting closer? By the balance, you are right. The storm is catching up with us. We might have to ride it out. It is good we are nowhere near the islands, or we would have to worry about reefs as well. Reefs? Nobody said anything about reefs. Ton, I have something to tell Captain, you. Captain! Sir! We need you on the bridge. The storm is closing in. Like I said, there's no possible way this could be a bad idea. By the foul bells of Joel, you're right, Lyak. It's closing in faster than any storm I've seen or heard, chaos or otherwise. It's like it's chasing something or someone. All right, listen up. The storm's going to hit in an hour or two. And I want everything to be ready. Tighten the hatches, strap down the cargo, wake up the watch, and by Joe's big toe, someone put a lid on the apple barrel. Yeah, gotta take care of that apple barrel. All right. Um, maybe we shouldn't have put that talisman up here. Maybe we should just try picking that up, huh? You think? What is that? What is that you have there? It's a necklace I misplaced, but I found it again, so no need to worry. What was it doing next to the spirit compass? Let me see that necklace right now. It's a valuable family heirloom. I don't let anybody touch it. Give it here. This talisman has the mark of the balance and of the sentinel. This is an object of great magic. The balance be cursed, girl. What by Charles' hideous countenance did you think you were doing? I didn't think it would do any harm. Are you this stupid, girl? Do you think this a game? I should never have made that deal. Women at sea. Jaw was right. 
Damn his immortal soul to the darkest pits of chaos. Get your arse to the brig right now and stay there. When, if we get to land, I'll see you before a court or may Jaws assassin strike me down with his three-bladed poison sword. Check the compass, Layak, and correct our course accordingly. And don't let this wench touch anything from now on, you hear? I need to place this accursed talisman as far away from the spirit compass as possible. Uh, yeah. Do we think this is a game? Well, actually, well, never mind. I don't want to break the fourth wall that badly. But, okay. Um, yeah, I guess we need to get our talisman back, since that's obviously such a very powerful artifact. What just happened? I don't know, but it doesn't sound uh -oh, good, April. This can't be a good thing. It's locked with a big padlock. Yeah, remember that thing was open earlier. That must be where he put the talisman. Oh, we need to get that back, don't we? So let's get the talisman here. It's been a while since I chopped firewood, but I think I'll be able to knock the lock off pretty clean. Or not. Oh, shit! Yeah, that's a minor way of putting it, April. Anyway, this is actually the end of the chapter 6. Um, it was a short chapter, so I'm going to fade out after this little embarrassing result here. Um, until next time, this is Dennis. I am Pants Top of the Paleo Gamer, and I will see you next time for The Longest Journey. See you then.